Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Lines and Lead. Um, got a little something different for you today. We're normally out fishing and stuff, but uh, last video we made, we were catfish noodling and we got a lot of questions and comments about it. So if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it real quick. It's a short video, about 10 minutes. Won't take you long and then you'll be caught up with us. Um, but the, the main question we got asked on that video was we were uh, using prodding, uh, prodding poles. And so they said, well, you're not really noodling if you're using poles. Well, I get that and I understand, but what you've got to remember is um, where we're at on this particular lake, we are, we are under a bunch of boat ramps and, and the holes go back up under these ramps. And sometimes these holes are very deep. They're seven, eight, nine foot deep to the back of these holes. So we go in with our arm, we're, we're in a maybe three feet at best if we're up to our shoulder, and we're still a good, you know, five, six feet away from these catfish that's laying in the back of these holes. And that's where the rod comes in. Uh, we take these rods with a treble hook attached to the end, and we can get back there in that hole and find that fish, and he'll actually, if you make him mad enough, he'll bite down into that rod, and we can pull him out to where we can actually get a hold of him with our hands. Um, the last fish that we caught on the last video, that's exactly what Brandon did. He found this fish, it was about six foot back in the hole, and he was able to find him with the, with the prodding stick. Um, gets the fish to latch down. He brings it out, I man the pole for him, and we get it out far enough where he can actually go back in and get his hands on that fish, get his hands in that fish's mouth and bring him on out. So it's just a tool that, that we use to help us reach these fish that's a lot further back. Um, when we're out in rivers and, and places where there's, um, you know, you don't have these big holes a lot different than I, the area of the country you're in, it might be like mud banks and, and things and these just rock ledges that these fish are stacked up and under. But like I said, this particular lake where we was on, um, we're kind of victims of circumstance. We, we really have no other choice. Um, the ones that are in shallow, of course, yeah, we can get to those with our hands, but the ones that are in deep, we have no access to them without the pole. So. Uh, just wanted to come on here and, and kind of clear that up to let you know why we actually use that. Um, second question we get asked is, how do you make those? Well, they're not fancy, they're very simple to make, so we thought we'd jump on here today, answer some qu some questions, and actually take y'all along and show you how we make these things. So, um, not much to it. First stop's going to be uh, Bass Pro. We're going to run down there and, and get us some big treble hooks, and um, so... Big Cat Hunter Williams along with us today. I think Trey's going to be with us today. And so we're just going to take a, a, a little while, go gather the material, come back, and take you all through it step by step so that maybe when you go out, if you're facing conditions similar to what we were, you'll have a new way to get there. So I um, hope this helps everybody. Stay tuned. treble hooks so we want some good ones and five bronze let's see i believe that looks about right to me what do you think hunter must add five alt trebles oh yeah that's plenty big well, we're gonna catch big catfish with big mouths so we need big trebles all right, folks, there it is. Must add five off. Just bronze trebles. So, feel like we probably ought to have a couple packs of those. Seven off. Oh, that's weighted snagging. Snagging is illegal. We don't snag fish. We don't snag fish where it's illegal. Let's put it that way. You get me somewhere where it ain't illegal, I'll snag them suckers. That's a lot of fun too. All right, so that's all we need to Bass Pro is a bunch of big old trebles. All right, everybody, we're back to the house. Made a quick stop at Lowe's on the way back after we left Bass Pro. Didn't feel like it was necessary to show you. Pretty sure if you're watching this, you've been to Lowe's before and we didn't need to walk you through it. We'll tell you what we stopped and grabbed though. Piece of half inch 
PVC, five foot long. And we grabbed another stick of half inch PVC, 10 foot long. And our thoughts today was to make a four foot, a five foot, and a six foot. You say, why you make different sizes? Well, fours are a lot easier to handle under the water and under the ramps. The only problem is sometimes the four footer isn't quite long enough. The six footer works great. You can get to the back of most holes, especially with your arm in there with it. The only problem is a six footer, sometimes it's a bear getting that long pole up under that, that ramp while you're in the water. So there's no right or wrong size here. Depending on what your application is and what you're doing, you can build it to whatever you want. Like I said, we just, we figured we'd build a four, five, and six. That way we'd have one of each and just show everybody how it's done. So anyways, a 10 foot stick, five foot stick, uh, PVC, half inch PVC from Lowe's. We got 50 foot uh, paracord, <coughs> it's 530 seconds. I believe it's 110 pounds what it's rated as and three nuts. Then Bass Pro, you've seen us pick it up. We got five, five alt hooks. The trip to Bass Pro cost us a whopping $5, basically a dollar a hook for a treble hook. Lowe's, we spent 20 bucks. So we're gonna have 20, five dollars in these so roughly about 833 835 a piece in making these things and they should last you pretty much forever maybe you have to replace the paracord once in a while or every once in a while you'll snag a treble hook under the bottom and you have to break it off and tie your new one on but no big deal <clears throat> real simple tools required knife to cut your paracord something to cut your pvc lighter to burn the end of the paracord and that's pretty much it so we'll get started all right we know the first one is five foot long and you don't have to be perfect if it makes you feel better to try to be perfect go ahead but we're not going to grab a measuring tape we're just going to go with it so that right there is about four footer and that makes that one about a six footer there's that part so here we go there's a four, there's a five, and there's a six. All right, easy enough. Set that down, grab your paracord. Is this a how-to video instead of a fishing video? I believe I feel like so. we need to catch a fish or something, I don't know. Just feels weird making something that's not a fishing video. So, all right. Hunter found some really cool camouflage paracord that he really wanted to use. We opted to go with red because when you're underwater, the red's probably gonna show up a lot better than the uh, camouflage. So, yeah, that's that. Take the four footer, lead the paracord down through it. There again, not overly complicated, folks. baby down in here comes out that side we're gonna come here grab us a hook these are five alt five alt treble hooks and the paracord through we're probably not gonna tie a fancy knot I'll just tell you We'll try it. We'll just see if it'll work. If it does, great. If it don't, it's great too. Well, we somewhat got a good knot tied there. that baby back through and that's basically what the end's gonna look like I'll try to get in close for that so you know it's gonna stay nice and tight in there while you're reaching up in there and feeling around and that old flathead gets mad and he reaches out and bites that sucker he's hooked so we're gonna give the paracord just a little room I don't know 
I would think a foot is probably going to be plenty. Cut your paracord, come here, get a nut. All this nut does is if you turn loose of the rope, it keeps your hook pulled back up into your PVC unless the fish bites it. And if the fish grabs it and jerks it, as you can see, it don't come out. You can move around, it stays in there. But if that fish reaches up and grabs it and pulls it, when it gets to the end, He's still hung, so all you gotta do is hang on to the PVC. And folks, that is a catfish prod, one end to the other. That that's simple. It is really, literally, that simple. There's a four footer. Me personally, I don't know. I think I'm probably gonna maybe take some pliers and bend my barbs down, or I might just hit them with the with the die grinder and knock the barbs off. Um, a lot less chance of if you do happen to get one in you while you're grabbing that catfish uh, it's a lot less painful coming back out let's say that um yeah i know it will increase your chances of maybe losing that fish just a little but i'm gonna tell you if he grabs a hold of that treble hook and you've got two or three in him and he's mad and pulling one way and you're mad and pulling the other the chances of him coming off are slim to none so that's it that's how we make them like i said we're gonna make two more here in a second we're not going to bore you to death by making you watch us build two more but it's it's that simple i mean just some pvc a nut some paracord and a treble hook you know cutters a pocket knife a cigarette lighter to burn the end of your paracord and go again um so that's all there are to it put them in your toolbox or behind your whatever and and, and stow them and and so whenever you're at the lake and you decide hey let's go noodling they're already on the boat and they're there and they're again cheap and inexpensive they were last for years and uh nothing to it so hope that helps everybody appreciate you coming along and watching this like i said i know it's not a fishing video it's not a long video but we had a bunch of questions and and, and comments about it so we thought we'd kind of try to answer them and, and help y'all in the process so uh, if you have any other questions just drop a comment down and we'll do our best to get back with you but till next time we we just thank the lord for a good day we thank the lord for uh, it's just been beautiful here um got to take a little time this evening and run around and and think about fishing talk about fishing meet some new folks and uh try to try to give god a little bit of glory today and, and then got home and building building stuff to go catch catfish uh, how how do you complain about that so we just want to thank god and give him the glory because uh he's the one that makes it all possible but until next time we appreciate you tuning in we'll see you on up the road and god bless